Nine. She's one of the icons of the music industry and after breaking records with her first album in the 80s, Cindy Lauper is about to release her 10th studio album. In just a moment we're going to talk to Cindy about what we can expect from it but first here's a look back at her career. Cindy Lauper has sold 25 million albums since her pop punk image took the 80s by storm, offering a fresh, bubbly and sometimes outlandish approach to having a good time. Hit after hit came from her debut album, She's So Unusual. A couple of years later and another successful album cemented Cindy Lauper as a pop icon. Over the years her music has evolved and among the release of 40 singles we've seen several musical sides to Cindy. And now, once again, Cindy Lauper is singing a different tune, this time turning her amazing talents to the blues. Her latest album, Memphis Blues, to be released in Australia on August 13. And it's a fabulous collection of blues cover songs and feature appearances by some blues and souls greats. And Cindy Lauper joins us now. Good morning to you. Lovely to talk to you. Hey, tell us how are you? Really, really well. And tell us all about what makes it the blues. Well, I think that most of my career and everything that I've been singing all this time is based on the blues. So it's kind of like going home. And um, there's some amazing people that I was very blessed to play with. Um, Charlie Musselwhite, B.B. Uh, King, um, Ann Peebles is on this mm -hmm. CD too. I got to sing on the same microphone as so her. I kind of felt like Kung Fu Panda. It was an amazing <laughs> time. And Alan Toussaint. Um, I don't know if you're familiar with his work. Um, he wrote, um, Yes, We Can, Can, Think We Can, and the Pointer Sisters did his uh, song. Uh -huh. It was a big hit, um, yep. you know, back in the 80s. Yep. And um, there's this, and Johnny Lang is uh, on, on there too. And it, there's some wonderful musicians from Memphis. And I wanted to go to Memphis, and I worked with this guy, Scott Bomar. Um, and I wanted to go to Memphis because that was the place everybody came up from Mississippi to Memphis looking for a record deal or a gig and then on the road again to six, on Highway 61 to Chicago. And that was kind of the trail through um, the states of the blues. And these were the original rockers. And as Muddy Waters says, you know, uh, blues gave birth to, had a baby gave birth to rock and roll. <laughs> so, I mean, I've been singing that most of my life. So it was like going home. So it was kind of it was kind of great, a little bit like Kung Fu Panda, but it was <laughs> you know it was fun. It is a terrific album, but when you uh, we just looked oh, at your history you. then, and uh, we sang along to every song that was in that package. <laughs> then. Not very well, mind you. No, but, you know. it's it's sort of a part of so many right. people's lives. You you were seen as being quite outrageous back then, and we, we were just commenting that hey, you, uh, the kids have Lady Gaga today. She had nothing on you, or has nothing on you, and you set the scene. I don't know. I think everybody's different. I think that uh, she's a wonderful artist. She's a wonderful performance artist. Um, and she's a good pop writer. I think she's a combination of me, my, my favorite cousin, Madonna, um, <laughs> and uh, Annie. A little Annie Lennox, yep. you know, Eurythmics, a little um, Elton John. Um, you know, I think she's a combination of a, a lot of people. Freddie Mercury, little David Bowie, you know, and, and a little Grace Jones. And I think that as a kid growing up, she must have seen everything and put it together. For me, you know, I've, I've enjoyed changing a lot. I love to, um, to grow as an artist. Um, and I think uh, 
for me, this whole uh, blues thing that I've been doing is some of the most extraordinary experiences that I've had as a musician, a singer, and a producer. And um, I got to say, every night I perform, because I'm on tour, too, over here. Yeah. Every night I perform with them, I pinch myself because I say, hey, be here now. This is a wonderful yeah. moment. It's kind of like a once-in-a-lifetime thing, you know? Just quickly, you mentioned touring. When will you tour Australia again? <laughs> I don't know. They're talking about it. We're talking oh, about good. it. Um, I, I'm not quite sure. It'd be, listen, you know, I love to go there. Plus, you know, you guys... You have an accent, so do I. So, uh, you know, your accent's pretty thick. I don't know if you notice that. But for me, you know, it sounds like, uh, you know, it sounds like you guys have an accent too, so I don't feel so bad about mine. See where, oh, I'm, see where yeah. I'm going with this? Well, we've got a connection. Look, we hope we do see you out here touring that it can come together. Congratulations on the album. Thanks for joining us this morning. Oh, thank you so much. My childhood years all there. Cindy Lorber, uh, Cindy's album is Memphis Blues. It'll be available in Australia.